Hey guys, I wanted to show you something. I just got recently this uh, little OP1 from Teenage Engineering. It's actually not a new synthesizer, it's already existing since 2012 as I heard, but uh, I just found it now and it's I think awesome. What's great about this company, they have good update policy, so recently was just released a new operating system. What I want to show you about this device is uh, what I found out when I was tweaking it a little bit is um, that it has actually the capability to do granular synthesis. And granular synthesis is something what is so far not implemented as a synthesizer, as you might see here. Teenage Engineering has put it a lot of interesting models in. Latestly, this new string module which simulates uh, a string with its tension and uh, how you brush it and sounds really nice. But what I need for my granular synthesis is a sampler and a few other things. Um, I will explain later why. For example, I put up the tempo to 220. It uh, is quite important. I could also do it with a slower tempo. I will later show how the tempo tweaks actually the granular process. I will use um, the sequencer and I use it in this case in the arpeggiator mode, which should be here. Yes, it is here. And I put here also like the fastest possible arpeggiating and a single short note thing. Okay, so I'm ready. So basically what I do now is just um, I make a sample. Let's see. Check, check. So, gravity goes granular. So, here's my sample. And here already you can hear something's going on. So, first of all, I make it a little bit louder. So, So normal sampling, but what I now do is I switch on the arpeggiator um, and let trigger notes in a really fast mode. Therefore, I put it up at the speed to 220. So it's extremely fast. Uh, 132th note um, is so extremely fast triggered um, that basically now you just can hear um, the trigger starting the sample. This is the basic thing of granular synthesis. What we now need is that we can um, somehow affect into the attack, into the starting point of the sample. We could easily do it and then it would be already also granular by um, uh, tweaking here the start point. As you can see, I can speed it up and play it also in different tones. That's what granular synthesis does. But I think it's more interesting even to do it differently. And um, in this case, I want to use the gravity controller, which is here um, in the LFO. I don't use crank, I use element and say gravity, send it to the start point of the sample. So the gravity will modulate the starting point of the sample. And this should be a number 10 here. So uh, the, the blue one. So, okay, and now we start again our, our arpeggiator.
So what we did basically with this is now having gravity controlling the granular process. What you can still tweak a bit is when you put down the tempo, the slices go slower, then it sounds more like a delay. But I like it more like this granular sound by putting it really up. And what you also can do is um, working on them. You can see actually how the starting point is triggered. What you also can do is um, working on the envelope and making it more smooth in the attack. That helps that it sounds even more like a granular wave. Because you don't have these little clicks in the start. So I hope you liked my little tutorial to show you how you can um, simulate um, granular synthesis on the OP1.